Hello, today I want to talk about uh, why making decisions is important and give you a few ideas and tips on making better ones. Now, before I get started, uh, down below there's a link and if you click on it, uh, there's actually, you can view some of the top skills um, someone really needs to have if they want to make money online. Uh, now, one of the things that many people struggle with is making decisions. In fact, there's a term I really like, and it's called being half pregnant. And I like it because it just, I just picture it good. Where the, the, someone wants to have a baby, but they don't want to have a baby. Um, I kind of sort of want to maybe. I have a friend who I just was talking about this too, where he's burned out of his job. He hates going there, so he wants to quit. So he's been doing this for a while now. He kind of wants to quit, but he doesn't want to quit. He got all his money saved and yada, yada, yada. But he's going to put in a leave of absence. But if they don't take it, uh, he might stay, but he might quit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> drives me nuts. Uh, so you just, how do you get anywhere in life if you can't make a fucking decision? <laughs> You can't. You just will sit there and disintegrate. You won't go anywhere. Uh, you just can't. Uh, so decisions are important. Because without them, nothing happens. And that's part of the fun of life. Um, and I was thinking about this the other day, about decisions, and um, I've gotten much better with, with this over the years. But uh, I think a lot of it's fear-based. You know, fear holds us. And uh, I always, you know... Fear is one of these things that you have to just confront in your life. I'm a big believer in it. whatever it is you're scared of, you need to kind of confront that. And, uh, you know, a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, maybe five years ago or whatever, I did the whole Pacific Crest Trail hike. I was scared shitless of it. And it was actually a very empowering thing because after that, where I was looking forward to just finding water and, you know, and have shit, um, I realized that even if I lost everything, I could still be okay. It just gave me a lot of confidence, really, um, in myself. Um, so it, it's not like, you know, even if I do lose anything, it's not the end of the world. So I'm much more easier to just, just take risks. And some people, they're paralyzed by risks. They can't take them. Um, and I think that's just a huge thing in life. You know, they just, they just play it way too safe. Um, so by facing fears, it's huge education. Um, more education that somebody will get than just, you know, studying out of school is a different type of education. So I think it's big for people. Even yourself, what are you scared of? Uh, whatever that may be, then, you know, public speaking, uh, pet or scared of what your parents might think or your friends, then, you know, sometimes you just need to fuck up on purpose and let everybody think you suck shit, and then it's all upside. There's an example or, you know, public speaking, and you need to do a lot of public speaking. But, but what my point is, you get over that, and it's really helpful, okay? Uh, one of my favorite quotes, another one of my favorite quotes, is, uh, if you try to chase two rabbits, you lose both of them. I'm a big believer in that. That's why being half pregnant and being unable to make a decision is so bad, because you lose out on, on both things and everything. Um, and in today's time, we have so many distractions and so many decisions to make. You know, it, it actually... It's not as simple as it was, you know, years ago. You know, things are just more complicated. And I think people struggle to make any decisions now because of just the paralysis analysis. And that's a term which means there's so many fucking options, you can't make a decision. And that's hugely important just as a marketer. The more options you have, people go, uh, they don't do anything. All right? And I was reading a quote from Amelia Ardenhart. She was at that... You know, you know who Amelia Earnhardt is, right? She was the first woman to cross the Pacific in a plane, and she disappeared somewhere. But she had a saying on her plane which I really like, and it was all, and it was basically, uh, "Oh, make decisions with a throttle forward." And what I get out of that is go on the offense. You know, always be doing something. Uh, always be moving. In order to make really good decisions. Guess what? You have to make, you either have to make a lot of bad decisions or you have to kind of learn from somebody else who made a lot of decisions. Learn from their mistakes. But that's how you learn. Being pragmatic. Um, 
for example, Warren Buffett, everyone, you know, he's like the richest guy out there. Everyone thinks he makes these great decisions. They give him his money. Here, make good decisions for my money for me, right? He's the guy we look up to. That's, you know, he's a role model. But guess what? He learned from Ben Graham. And Ben Graham, well, he figured out the mark, stock market pretty good with his whole value investing strategy. However, he wasn't all, he was big in diversification. He never like stuck all his money into one stock like Warren did, like Coca Cola or, or Geico or whatever. He invested in very lots of stocks. He only beat the market by 2.5%. But Warren Buffett, he took with his knowledge and added to it, and that's how he was able to beat the stock market. I think it was like 20% or something like that. And he basically got other people's money and just grew like a snowball. Um, and that's, you know, but here's the thing. He still makes a lot of bad decisions, Warren Buffett. I mean, he missed out on Amazon.com and all kinds of other crazy phases. And even his annual report, the first thing he talks about is his mistakes. Made a mistake, made a mistake, made a mistake, made a mistake. But still, he, he knows the system. He knows how things work so that, you know, he doesn't really invest in things he doesn't know too much about. Like cryptocurrency. <laughs> I'll never mess in that. But, um, but that's the thing. So, I'm a big fan of, of micro failures, if you can, but macro success. And that's another reason why I love sales so much, because all you gotta do is get rejected. They do, woo, reject me. And um, once you know the numbers, it's all just math. Okay, so, uh, there you go. You gotta make decisions. Uh, so, to sum everything up, uh, you got to make decisions to be successful and you have to make a lot of bad decisions to make in order to, to learn from them, to make good, better decisions or you have to learn from other people to make shady decisions, okay? Um, I hope you got some value from this uh, video or, or audio to listen to our podcast. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you are interested in making any type of money online, which is a good thing, because no matter what business you're into, you have to have some type of online presence. The most valuable lesson I've ever learned is it doesn't matter how many views you get on YouTube, likes, it doesn't matter how many fans you have or whatever on social media, how many people view your blog posts or how much you know about social media. The only thing that matters is sales. At the end of the day, it's all that matters, people giving you money. Without that, you have nothing, nothing. Um, so that's where it, you really want to get better at. Probably good, right? Since that's the most important part. Um, also, here's a secret that a lot of people don't tell you. You don't even need that many sales to make a lot of money. In fact, you can make a lot of money after that first fucking sale. After the first sale, there's a lot of money to be made if you know what you're doing. And so where do you learn to get this knowledge? Where do you go to view it? Well, that's why I'm a big believer in clicking that link below. Well, you'll, you can view this and how to do it. Um, because I've wasted a lot of energy and time uh, doing the wrong stuff. So I don't want you to go through what I went through, okay? Um, I wish you the best, and I hope you have a very wonderful rest of your day, and bye for now.